welcome back to my channel, Dr. Zul Hilmi. Uh, today, we will discuss uh, the new topic, a new topic which is force and acceleration for the particle. We are still in particle. Okay, later on we go to rigid body, but now we are still in particle, which is force and acceleration. Now we are in chapter, chapter number 5. So, force and acceleration. So, the equation that we have is, we only have one equation. Okay, one main equation which is later on, we can resolve into uh, several axes. The, first, the equation is sigma f equal to, to ma. Okay, so of course, when we have the sum of force, what we always do is we draw the free body diagram. So we have, for the sigma f, we will draw the free body diagram. Okay, and ma, mass time acceleration. Okay, so the ma, we will draw the kinetic diagram okay so to the, at the left is the free body diagram and at the right is your kinetic diagram okay and this is some step okay several guideline of how to draw the free body diagram which i'm sure that you already know uh, most of you have already learned during your previous uh, courses which in previous course which is statics okay so you already know how to draw this free body diagram okay just now here i'm just going to refresh a little bit your memory on how to draw the free body diagram we start by uh, this is the simple guideline we start by drawing the, the boundary condition we separate the component that we want from other part okay and then if there is a uh, external forces okay external forces meaning that uh, normally they will draw it as a p okay f or we have cable, or if we have uh, spring and, and so on, we call it as external forces. We draw the external forces. If the component have mass, of course, in this case we have mass because we have emit. Okay, if there is no mass, so we cannot we cannot uh, uh, use this equation for uh, force and acceleration. So the component have mass, we should stop. Uh, put the mg which is acting on the center of gravity of that component direction downward straight downward okay and if let's say the component touch any surface we have to put n which is a normal force 90 degree to the surface acting towards the component meaning that the component feel okay feel that something pushing that component okay so we have a uh, normal force and then if the friction is considered okay if the friction is considered we should have put force friction force friction force which is equal to mu okay mu the coefficient of friction times the normal force okay f equal to mu n and it is a uh, tangent to the surface and against the direction of motion okay you have to remember that the friction force is the force that uh, pushing the component from moving okay so it always against the direction of motion okay so this is the friction friction force so this is a fast uh, simple step of how to draw the free body diagram i'll show this simple example of how to draw the free body diagram let's say we have one surface here and a particle with uh, mass m okay and we have a cable pulling by t1 or by t and another force p2 or let's because this is t so i'll call it as p and let's say the surface of friction friction mu equal to 0 0.3 let's say for example so draw the free body diagram for this component Okay, so the first step, separate the component or detach the component from other part. So this is the component that we want. That's what we mean by separate the component. Okay, so we have this, this is the component and this is the surface. Okay, so this is the component that we want to draw the free body diagram. And second part is... If the component have external forces, we will put the external forces. In this case, we see that we have one here and another one here. Okay, we copy that one. So this is P 
and this is thin. Tension of the cable always acting outward of the of the component. Okay, tension of the cable. And then what else? We have the component state that the mass m. So we have mg acting at the center of gravity downward. You can draw this way or from up to down, but the thing is acting on the center of gravity downward. So this is mg. Okay. And the component have mass, so we have mg. And the last one is uh, friction force. In this case, we didn't see which direction it will go. For example, if we assume the component will go upward, okay, this is the, the direction. So we will have the friction force opposing this direction, mu times n. Okay, that's it. To draw the free body diagram of the uh, system of the component to calculate at the end for F equal to MA. So we draw the free body diagram, which is this one. The other part, we will draw the, the MA. So in this case, let's say we have here, okay, let, let's draw a complete one. This is F, F, B, D. So here we will we'll draw the kinetic, kinetic diagram. Kinetic diagram is much simpler than the free body diagram, which is we put the component. Okay, we know that the component can only move on the surface. So we, we put the mass times the acceleration. Okay, in this case, uh, you didn't, didn't state any direction. But it can only either upward or downward this direction. So we can have, okay, the thing is at the center of gravity of that component, okay, lined with the surface, this is the um, A. That's it for kinetic diagram. Depend on the question. If the question said the, the component will have acceleration downward, so you draw downward, but it is always in line with the, with the surface. Okay, so the MA and free body diagram. Okay, and then how to how to solve this one? We have used this equation sigma f equal to mb. You just uh, take all these forces equal to these forces to this ma. Okay, but of course maybe we need to resolve either into x and y. So we have to uh, to force in x and y, or we create another axis to make easier calculation. Normally I will create one axis same in line with this. Uh, surface and the other one is this 90 degree so you can call it this one is y this one is x so we fall, follow this so we can only resolve into that which is we make easier calculation for calculation okay if you do it like this way ma only have in one direction which is y and a x will be zero directly if you draw this way you will have all ma and the others we have to resolve into x and y. So choose your axis correctly, okay, for the easier calculation. Okay, we'll look at the example later on. Okay, so let's, let's look at this example. We have one component pushing by force P with uh, friction force 0 0.3, and, uh, coefficient of friction 0 0.3. So the question is determine the required force P. So you have to determine this one. What is the value of P? To initiate the 10 kilogram mass, so given mass is equal to 10 kilo, to move up the incline, so we know that the direction is moving up, of 30 degree incline with acceleration of 2 meter over second square. Okay, so the first thing to do is to draw the free body diagram and kinetic diagram. We have sigma f equal to ma, so free body diagram and kinetic diagram. So here we have F, B, D, and the other part is the kinetic diagram. Okay, so first we detach the component. So this is the, the part with a component. So here we have the same part. Okay. Go to this one. And then there is one external force, external force which is P, so you put this is here, P is here, 20 degree, this one is 30 degree, okay, there is no other external forces, 
Uh, we have mass, so you should have downward this one and G. There is a surface, so you should have one normal force and said that the component will move up the incline with the friction, so the friction must always oppose the direction. So F equal to mu n, or in this case, mu is given. 0.3 n. Okay, that's it for the free body diagram. So we go to the kinetic diagram. We say that move up the incline with 2 meter over second squared. So the A at the center of, of gravity up the incline and A. Okay, so there's no other component. Okay, so now what I need to do is to draw the axis, choose uh, an axis and construct that one. Okay, so uh, what uh, I will do is I will follow one of it as in line with the surface and the other one is not degree to that. So I have this and this. This one is our x and this is our y. So we have the axis. In between this we have 90 degree. Okay. Okay. So now I want to at least uh, resolve everything into x and and y. In this side, this one is already in x direction. So m a is the a is actually already in x direction. Okay. Already in x direction. This one is in x direction. N is in y. Only these two, which is not in x and y direction, so I should have this one this way, way this one, and the other one is this. If there is 30 degrees, so this one should be also 30, so cos 30 sin 30. Okay, so 20 degree here. Okay, so we have. Uh, this one, this one is 30, so here, like this one, okay, so here is 20, so from here to this is 50 degree, okay, 50 degree, so resolving to one is there, and the other one is 90 degree, so here is 50, so P cos 50, Sine 50. Okay, so I have resolved everything in terms of x and y direction. Okay, so we will solve one by one. We go to the x first. That one positive. Choose one direction as positive. Normally we choose our x as positive. So sigma f x equal to m a x. Okay, so we have P cos 50. I take this one, this one I can erase. Minus mg. M is 10, g 9.81. Uh, negative, negative 10, uh, 9.81. So 98.1. Okay. M is 10, g is 9.81. So 98.1. Sine, sine 30. Okay, 1, 2, minus, minus 0 0.3 N equal to M A. M is 10, A is 2. So, 10, 2. Okay. You can simplify this, uh, but you still have two unknown here, which is P and N. Okay, so I have simplified this one. 0.643p minus 0.3m equal to 69.05 first equation. You go to y direction. This direction as your positive sigma fy equal to m a y. And what I have is n. Minus P 
sin 50 minus 98.1 cos 30 1, 2, 3 and B, 3 ok, this is in X this is equal to 0 ok, because here we have on, already have only in X direction so now we have two unknown, you can simplify and equal to something in term of P ok, so N equal to 84.9 6 plus 0 0.766 P so this is equation number number 2 ok so from here you just put this equation number 2 here in, in this end ok once you put it there you will get the the N is there so of course that because you want the P so you substitute everything in in term of P so you have everywhere here only P so directly you can have the P is equal to 228.79 Newton the minimum value of P to move the component upward with acceleration of 2 meter over over second square ok so that's it how you solve Sigma F equal to MA again. At the left you have free body diagram. At the right you have kinetic kinetic diagram. Choose your axis X and Y wisely, and then you resolve all the forces in terms of X and Y, and you solve first in X direction, and the other one is the Y direction. You have two equation. Okay, normally you uh, in uh, we will allow only two unknown. Okay, for simplicity, so we have two unknown with two equation. You can solve directly uh, with simultaneous equation. Okay, so that's it. We might go to another example later on, but this is for for the first and the simplest example that we have. Okay, so thank you. See you in the next example.